Okay, just gonna take you through the rear brake setup on the Corrado. So on the rear, I'm using front hubs, because obviously it's twin engine, so the back is basically a replication of the front in terms of subframe, upright, suspension, brakes, etc, etc. So what we have here is a set of um, five stud VR6 front hubs. Um, the only thing I've taken off is the um, bus guard. We have a set of 312 by 23 um, mil front brakes. So these are from Mark IV V6 full motion. Um, so as you can see, they're vented discs, so they're 23 mil thick. And then I'm using a set of Porsche Brembo um, uh, Boxer S rear brakes. So the rationale behind using Porsche Boxer S rear brakes is they're sized for a rear engined um, vehicle. Um, so obviously the using a set of front Brembos would be too much for the back. I end up locking up the back. So these are sized appropriately for the rear and for um, an engine in the back. And then we have a set of um, 256 calipers off a Golf V6 full motion. So these are the rear, so they've got the attachments for the handbrake. And the reason why I'm going twin caliper is because clearly it's a front setup, so it's not set up for a rear caliper. And the Porsche um, uh, calipers don't have any handbrake functionality. So I'm using the calipers off the rear of a full motion for the hydro and for the mechanical handbrake. So, um, to get the port box of calipers to fit, it's relatively simple. I just bought a set of mounts from Epitech and they bolt on nice and easy. So they bolt on here. And then I'm having to make up some custom mounts to mount the um, Golf Full Motion rear caliper. Now, um, these Full Motion rear calipers are meant to take a disc which is 256 and 21 millimeters thick um, now after having measured they're actually the, the space that you actually have is more like 25 mil so they're fine to go over this 23 mil disc I'll probably shave a little bit off each edge just to give me a, a bit of clearance in case of a bit of run out on the disc so um, I'm just going to put the disc onto the hub and then show you how it all mounts up and show you what I'm going to do in terms of mounts for the uh, for the full motion rear caliper. Okay, so I fitted the um, Porsche box rest calipers using the Epitec mounts. So that's nice and simple. Then I have wound back the piston in the full motion rear calipers and put brand new pads in. Um, and I just slid them on. Then what I've done is I've clicked the um, handbrake mechanism a few times to just get the piston to come down and I've wedged it with this cable tie so now the piston's pushing against the pads um, so I'm confident that it's centered and it's flat and flush against the brake disc so wherever I choose to kind of orient this and weld it I'm happy that that's where it should be. So the plan originally was to have the two calipers facing each other so I made up a set of mounts which are just here um, Yep. Now, um, the problem with this is that that hole where I'd where bolt down um, onto the caliper is quite close to where the track rod end sits, which is just here. Now, although obviously this is a rear, this is the rear hub, or although it is a front hub, but it's going on the rear, um, it won't be going left and right clearly. Um, I won't be having any rear wall steer. But it will be going up and down so the articulation in the suspension that ball joint is going to pivot around and it's going to be for my liking a bit too close to that bolt if not touching it i don't kind of want it getting jammed up as the suspension is going through its travel so that idea went in the bin so take two was to move the caliper in essence upwards so it sits kind of higher up like so it has the positive that the bleed nipple is kind of facing perfectly vertically up, so it's not a bad thing. And then I made up another bracket, so that now sits like so. So what I'll do is I'll just weld it along those two edges. This is a temporary fix, um, just to make sure everything sits where it should be. So 
again world along there bolt that down that means that should mean it's in there um then what i can start to do is um number one make sure it rotates the disc rotates fine and doesn't hit anything and number two is to start to do the, um start to work out what i'm going to do with the handbrake cables and i'm going to have to make some alterations to the mechanism um simply because i've got to rotate this round so the, the handbrake cable comes across the top and goes down so the factory position doesn't quite work for me that, that's no problem i can kind of cut and mold that and that's the, the one mounting point i've got so i can shift that around um and um i'll have to get a set of custom cables made up so it's kind of the vag end on the caliper but on the other end it's gonna have to be mr2 because i'm using the mr2 handbrake and kind of linkage which goes underneath the fuel tank um so what i'm gonna do now is just roll it up and see how it sits all right i'll just tack that on for now um just to check fitment all looks good so i'm just gonna flip it around and make sure the disc rotates okay happy with that right first test for the car looking good <laughs> Right, final one with the wheel back on and it's all looking good. So overall, happy with that. What I'll probably do now is get a set made up um, in a slightly thicker still. What's on there currently is about five mil thick, which I don't think is um, thick enough. So I'm gonna go through the 10 mil or 15 mil just to ensure there's no flex at all in that caliper mounting. But yeah, that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching and I will catch up for the next one. Cheers.